Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm now delighted to be joined by Piyush Argawal, partner global cloud data and AI at Deloitte, along with Dan Waters, regional vice president, EMEA partners at Snowflake. Gentlemen, really looking forward to this conversation. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Ryan. Looking forward to the chat. Piyush, Deloitte provides industry-leading audit and assurance, tax and legal consulting, financial advisory, and risk advisory services to nearly 90% of the Fortune Global 500. From your seat, what's the data showing you? Yeah, so right, and I think if you look at it, right, we have been in this business for 175 years, right? So the organizations we have transitioned from industrial age to internet age to intelligence age now. And if you look at our clients, which are in the industrial age, need our help to move and monetize the value of data. And I think if you look at this horizon, right, uh, organizations are moving what I call a 3i model which is they are trying to do ideation, incubation, and industrialization within the data and AI space. And that is very important for large organizations. And I think what we see is more and more, the focus is on how do we drive that ideation process? How do we drive that incubation within the business and the value creation? But most importantly, how do we industrialize it in a way that can basically drive scale? Uh, whereas if you deal with the internet age companies, it's a very different a paradigm and the paradigm there is for us is how do we take those organizations into driving more and more intelligence into them through the AI platforms that we have built. And I think that's the difference we see in the dynamics between the organization. What we are seeing in the market is organizations are now trying to drive data and AI as a core part of their strategy, right? The investments are growing as well as productionization of AI assets is starting to happen. We did just a survey very recently, and the survey showed us that 70% of the organization are putting investments up, right? They see risk and control as a barrier, talent as a barrier, but they are overcoming that. So what we start to see now is, you will start to see more and more organization move towards the AI paradigm very soon and try to drive value from it. Great insights and perspective, thank you. Dan, from your perspective, what trends are you noticing and how is the combined partnership of Snowflake and Deloitte serving the collective ecosystems? Yeah, thanks Ryan, great to be here. And I can't believe it's a year since we sat down last time. Um, so really what we've been seeing, the partnership with, with Deloitte last year and, and longer has really continued to evolve and develop, especially from, a, from an EMEA perspective, okay? So we've been really focused on uh, the overall themes that we've been really seeing, which is about uh, learning and developing the deployment of Gen AI projects and really leveraging enterprise, enterprise AI as the core foundation to be able to realize the value and the promises that Gen AI offers in terms of business growth and evolution. So by working with Snowflake and Deloitte um, to be able to help guide our clients through this journey, they're really being able to derive real business value from, from that engagement. Thank you, Dan. Deloitte is one of Snowflake's strategic partners in the public sector. Why is this such a perfect combination for the sector? Perhaps would love your thoughts. Yeah, so I think a couple of things, right? Any organization, any, any large governmental organization is making a societal impact. Whether it's health, whether it's safety, security, you walk into the streets of London, there are a million ca digital cameras. Right. They are protecting the society in general. And I think what is important is that information which is being generated at scale, right? making it, utilizing it to deliver the value for where we deliver the social, social society to be a better, uh, better infrastructure, I think is what we are trying to do together, right? And we see that together we have done quite a large scale engagements in the US. We have been involved with the NHS here, we have been involved with the public safety systems here, and I think it's that partnership that brings the two, those two things together is very critical. For me, it's all important is how do you get into the digital age, from digital age to intelligence age, which requires you to sort out your data, but most importantly, drive value and insight from that data, but drive the decisioning through that. And it's that decision science is the capability of change management, allowing human to do critical thinking, and analyzing that is what excites me, not the data itself. 
Great perspective. Dan, we'd love your thoughts as well. Yeah, well, well, firstly, you know, the public sector and, and, and the growth opportunity within public sector for Snowflake on a global level is, is incredibly exciting. Uh, we were really happy to award Deloitte our public sector partner of the year in summer in, in, uh, in June over in San Francisco, because uh, as Piyush said, some of the great use cases and outcomes that Deloitte have been driving with us uh, in that North American market. So as we get moving uh, in EMEA, uh, we now have dedicated team on public sector in the UK. We're really excited about getting moving with Deloitte in terms of really deploying their expertise. And that, uh, as, as Piyush said, all around the, in terms of the data opportunity and the data collaboration and the way that customers can access that in the public sector space to really derive great insights and, and really, really solves you know, the, 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 the customer's need and the citizen's needs as we look to sharing that data across different organizations and different silos within that public sector space. So we're really looking forward to getting moving with Deloitte and EMEA. Great to hear, Dan. As you mentioned at the beginning of this conversation, we sat down a year ago and we discussed hypothetical impact Gen AI would have in the marketplace. Now we are in the time of enterprise AI. How are you working together to deliver best in class services globally? Perhaps let's start with you. Yeah, so I think if you look at it, right, the value case of AI uh, has been talked about uh, at length, and we are starting to see that value realize. We ourselves at Deloitte have rolled out Gen AI platform to every consultant, to every employee. Uh, that's 400,000 employees, right? That's scale deployment, right? What that means is how do you control the usage? How do you ensure that it is being used in the right way, protecting the customer data, right? We deal in financial transactions. We deal in audit, we deal in accounting. We need to protect the privacy of our clients. So putting those guardrails in place within our business was very important to us. Making sure that we are observing what people are doing with this technology is important because we need to learn from it. We did a survey and we found that different age groups use the technology very differently. That allows us to think through what is the change management procedures that we need to apply within our business. And most importantly, what we are trying to find is what's the value, right? The value that we have realized is not in terms of only efficiency, but the quality and the productivity of our people have, are, is starting to go up. And that's what we see across the industry. Knowledge management has been a topic that has been talked about for 20 years, 20 plus odd years I've been in the industry uh, from the advent of internet in 1995, 90, 95, 96. And I think what you have seen in that time is that how do you harness both unstructured and structured data together and drive the knowledge from it and insights from it is very critical. This technology can enable you to do that. And I think that's, every enterprise needs to think about how they implement the next perplexity inside their organization. Great to hear Deloitte's top-down approach. Yeah. Dan, what would you like to add? Yeah, no, absolutely. To echo uh, Pierce's view and comments there, I mean, AI has infinite capabilities and promises and use cases that you know any organization and enterprise can benefit from. But the one consistent with that achieving of those promises is you have to have a core, solid, governed, secure data foundation and platform to build your models on top of. And utilizing Snowflake to do that with, with our capability across any model, any type of data, any cloud, using Deloitte's expertise to overlay into that can really help enterprises really uh, experience and gain the, the, the promise and the value that AI can deliver to that organization. Great to hear, Dan. I'd like to take a moment and explore another initiative that is really fundamental to both Snowflake and Deloitte, and that's data for good. From your collective seats, how are the teams using their technology to drive worldwide impact at a macro level? And are there any examples you can share with the audience watching? Dan, let's start with you. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. So we have seven core values at Snowflake, one of, one of which is make each other the best. So we're absolutely dedicated to looking at how we can really work on data for good initiatives and working with our partners to partner around those initiatives as it makes an impact you know, in day-to-day -day lives, in our localities and at a global level. So we've been working on things like ESG initiatives. We've been looking at how do we look at data for good initiatives around weather analytics, weather patterns, the, the impact in terms of uh, different uh, flows in terms of things like uh, energy and emissions and ESG data sets. Uh, and really, you know, that triangulates not only through our SI partners like Deloitte, but also in terms of what we're doing with our cloud partnerships with people like AWS and really working on these initiatives together. So one of the examples really recently was around a three, 360 degree use case uh, with Parkinson's UK really. 
to look at the impact of the, of the disease, not only for the people that are immediately impacted, but also the, the community around them, the family around them, friends, associates around, you know, everyone that's impacted by that horrible, horrible infliction, but really looking at how do we connect all that data together and really gain insights from that data. So just an example of one of the projects we've been working on locally here in the UK. Thank you, Dan, and Piyush, we love your thoughts. Yeah, so I think if you look at it, right, we have been working with a lot of social causes in the UK and across the globe. And what we did very recently was looked at our Gen AI platform and said, how about if we share it, that technology with the charity organizations? Uh, and we did that with disability charity organization that basically is scope. And what we found was that how those people are using and their digitization process enabled us to learn how we need to tackle and use this technology in different situations and settings. Obviously, improving the lives of individuals uh, through that pro process. In addition to that, we are partners to AI for Good. And through that, we are working on various initiatives of how we deploy this technology safely, ethically, and ensure that we drive social causes across the globe. And some of them are around deforestation, some of them are around climate change, topics that are close to our heart, and, and education, right? Education, uh, primary education is a key part, and I think we, we, we foster that through our, through our solutions. Well, gentlemen, I want to say thank you so much for everything you are doing together, but before we wrap, what's next? So I think uh, for us, AI and data agenda continues to grow for our clients, and it's an important agenda. And I think what we see is that how do we create solutions which make an impact to our business, to our clients' business, and enable them to leverage this technology safely and ethically is what we see as the key proposition to market. Uh, and I think what we see together is basically a future where we can basically enable these organizations that were born in the industrial age to become more intelligent, more ethically able to handle customer requirements responsibly. Great to hear, and Dan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think the future's bright for Deloitte and Snowflake. We've got so much road ahead of us to continue to evolve our partnership. We're, of course, talking about how do we go faster in different markets across EMEA. Uh, public sector is, is an area that we really want to lean into and really um, leverage the, the strength and the capability that Deloitte have in that space. But we're also looking at how do we, how do we evolve in terms of a go-to-market through investment in, in products and assets. So, for instance, Deloitte are just bring, building out a uh, converged data platform offering at the moment that really helps us accelerate access to data insights by about 70%, really speeding up time to value, really accelerating customers' journey around gaining insights from Snowflake with, with Deloitte. So we're, we're really excited about the future together and you really expand upon the footprint that we've got now and really you know, taking that to the next level over the next year and beyond. Well, great to hear, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Exciting next chapter for Deloitte and Snowflake. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us here in London. We'll see you soon.